I got some great news for you today. And that great news is that you can be as close to God as you want to be. Isn't that wonderful to think about? I mean, there's no person or no situation that's prohibiting your closeness to God. Hey, welcome to session four of our Real Faith Project. I'm so proud of you for joining a group and just for committing yourselves to spiritual growth. And today I want to talk to you from the book of James about what we can do to draw close to God. A University of North Carolina study was conducted a few years ago. And in the study, they ask a group of people that all said that they believed in God. How many of you guys that actually believe in God feel close to God? And when the survey results were compiled, you know what they discovered? Only about half of all the people that said that they believed in God felt close to God. Sometimes we have a big problem. We got a problem because we believe in God, but we just don't feel connected. And today I want to talk to you just for a couple of minutes about how we can be connected to God. And I believe that being in a real faith group, by the way, is a great beginning to this. Um, but let's look at James chapter 4, verse 8. The Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. In other words, you can be as close to God as you really want to be. There's four things, there's four steps to getting close to God. The first is found in James chapter 4, verse 7. It says that we have to submit to God. We have to submit to God. And sometimes that word submission is kind of a negative word in our culture. But man, submitting to God, we will never lose. That means God is the boss. God is our authority. Whatever God says trumps whatever I say. And the Bible says, submit to God. You want to be close to God? Submit to God. By the way, he's the boss anyway. Sometimes it takes us a little bit longer to figure that out. But God is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and God is God. So we submit to him. The Bible says also we resist the devil. Uh, we resist the devil. Sometimes we got to fight. Sometimes we got to dig our heels in. When we go down the path of temptation, we got to say no to the schemes and to the plans of the enemy and the evil one. That's why the Bible says, be strong in the power of his might. We need to be aware of the devil, but we don't need to be afraid of him. We need to understand he is powerful, but he is certainly not more powerful than God. So we resist him, and Jesus resisted the devil, if you remember in the Gospel of Matthew, by prayer and by the word of God as he was tempted for 40 days in the wilderness. So are you resisting the enemy? And then thirdly, the Bible says, draw close to God. You know, draw close to God. Uh, the first time that I asked Gina, my wife, on a date, you know what she said? She said no. <laughs> I had two courtside tickets to an NBA basketball game. How cool is that? And she said no. And I was so disappointed because she didn't want to be with me, but I wanted to be with her. Isn't it great to know that God always wants to be with us? You can never draw near to God and God give you the Heisman. God always wants to be near to you. And then finally, he says, cleanse your hands. That means to change our actions, to cleanse our actions. It means to change some of our habits. It means to stop doing some things and to start doing other things. And when we cleanse, when we submit, when we resist, and when we draw close to God, guess what? We can be as close to God as we want to be. Would you bow with me for a word of prayer? Lord, we thank you for this fourth session. Lord, I pray that today that you would draw us close to you, closer to you than we have ever been before. Lord, I pray for a real spiritual awakening and a sp real spiritual revival in our own hearts today that we would draw close to you God and I pray we would value being closer to you close to you more than anything else in the world Lord use this group time use our discussion and use our prayers today to do a great work in our hearts and we pray it in Jesus name amen